Tonight, a school rocked by racism became the focus of a community forum. Last Friday, there was a walkout at Bloomfield Hills High School, you remember, over racist graffiti, and yesterday, social media messages threaten the lives of black students. Seven Action News reporter Brett Cass tells us some parents and students are fed up with the district's response and are now demanding action. Well, even after a walkout protest on Friday, threats continue this week with more messages being spread on Monday. And the Bloomfield Township Police says they're investigating and parents want answers. Students were harmed under my watch and for that I am sorry. The Bloomfield Hills High School principal and administrators meeting face to face with parents, all concerned after a number of racist messages began circulating in the school. So it's important that we listen carefully to what our students have to say. The meeting filled the school cafeteria and included breakout groups with students and parents, all worried about safety after some of those threats, including one written on the bathroom wall, threatened violence against black students. And I said, is this 2021 or is this 1959? It's unacceptable, totally unacceptable in 2021. The message was shocking to parents like Derek Albert, who worries for the safety of his daughter. He and other parents feel the severity of this threat is being minimized. If you have messages that saying kill all black people, what are you doing about that threat? You know, have you addressed the student body to say in, in the event something happens, this is the plan to evacuate the building. This is what we have, the safety measures in place. Nothing has been told of us. The police and the school say they are investigating the messages, the most recent one being shared on Monday. Some parents at the meeting came prepared. Well, we memorialized our thoughts and our suggestions in this memo to help expedite the process. Trek Carruthers, also an attorney, drafted a six page memo with demands for the district, saying right now he does not feel safe with his son in the school. I'm not here to call anyone racist or engaging in that rhetoric. I'm not here to demand the expulsion of any particular student. Why I'm here is we want change. We want effective change. That's why I'm here. These parents, while thankful for the conversation, want more action to be done to make sure that their kids are safe when in Bloomfield Hill schools. We need the state to come in. I've already contacted the Department of Education Civil Rights Division to come in. And if the district doesn't want to move, we'll file a lawsuit against them because Title VI funding is at place, uh, taxpayer dollars at place, and our safety is at place. And school administrators did not allow us to film those breakout sessions and declined to be interviewed. Anyone with information is asked to contact Bloomfield Township Police. In Bloomfield Hills, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brett.